Why can these guys take such a goddamn beating? Oh, because they're using immunity. Okay. Well, since I can't do anything to you for a while, I guess I'll just cr create a black hole in your rib cage. Have fun with that one. I mean, you can't need all of your organs, right? Like, some people get their gallbladders removed. They don't really seem to be doing anything, and my game crashed. Wow. Wait, did it? Something's happened. Everything's fucking froze up. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know if you guys can see this, but the game just shat me out back to a screen of... <laughs> <laughs> Newfound Daddy Dom Shepard staring me the fuck down. And I'm, uh, that's another screenshot I desperately fucking need. Disapproving Papa Shep. There we go. I don't know what's happened. I, I I can't get back to Streamlabs. We're stuck here. Good. Thank you, game. Much appreciated. I'm, I'm gonna have to task manager my way out of this one. Or, even fucking worse, make a new desktop because the game is so very convinced that it needs to be a piece of shit right now. I don't know what you guys are seeing. Sorry about this. What the dog doing? Dying in a pit. It's all crooks. I mean, you're right, but I think I put it much more eloquently when at least I got his uh, favorite habit of nibbling in there first. Yeah, 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 we know. Doctor Who bullshit. Gotta murder some puppies again. Let's go. Uh, please do let me know if it's working. I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep checking every now and then, but I will be in combat. Uh, and if it's like choppy, sometimes after it crashes, my stream gets choppy as fuck. I might just have to restart stream in a second. Which would suck all the us, but the puppies are already dead! Rex, you fucking monster! I don't think they deserve that! Whoa, what the hell was that? I'm warm! Why am I so- why am I so warm? What did that mean? I'm just gonna barrier up and hope for the best. This guy gets boomed, and my gun's already overloaded. Am I using a gun that I didn't mean to? I, I don't remember them being that shit. Maybe that's what the warm did to me. Let's see, because I'm pretty sure it is the same one. I was firing it like a hundred times in a row before. And you can't go immune when you're flopping on the ground like a fucking little fishy. No, 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 how did you get up so fast? <laughs> immediately died again afterwards, though. This man's having a horrible, horrible day. Maybe get into a new line of work and, you know, torturing the innocents isn't a great look for your fucking resume. I mean, honestly, as a Batarian, that might be exactly what your employers are looking for, but whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and whip out the assault rifle and hope to hell the game doesn't crash again. Because if this DLC specifically is broken, I'm going to be so sad. I love this DLC, and I was so excited to finally fucking get to it. God, fuck! I hate everyone using immunity at once. You're getting launched. Well, I think Garrus just broke through your immunity immediately. I guess that's what full body fucking nerve agent studio. Don't you dare! Don't you- I'm getting at least one kill before I die here. I think all the other kills came from my beautiful thick puppers. <laughs> that looked incredible. <laughs> he was just accepting every last bullet, having a little bit of a wiggle to himself in the process. No, 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 that's not what I want. Uh, we need to shield boost because I am losing my limbs. There you go. I wish once the barrier broke, it would tell you that the barrier fucking broke. Because I can never tell when my shields are fucking gone there. Alright, ten fucking viewers, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me through the crash. That was fucking horrible. But hopefully it ain't gonna happen again. Although if anything's gonna be buggy in, uh, like the remake of Mass Effect 1, it's gonna be the DLCs. Uh, because for something happened like they lost the source code for them, to the point where one of the DLCs in this game just couldn't be recovered. Luckily, it's, uh... A complete, like, nothing DLC. It was basically, like, just an alliance. Y you know, like, uh... What's it called? Like, VR missions in Metal Gear Solid and everything. Like, the training missions that don't really add anything whatsoever. I'm sure, but, like, Metal Gear does it pretty well, actually. But, uh, What?! Why didn't you do that to me before? Were they literally just trapped in box for the entire goddamn fight? <laughs> I hate these guys. Don't die. I may have died, Sarah, but that is a that is a fantastic tip. I'll take that into account next time. Why does Shepard seem to hate Batarian so much? Like this is probably his first encounter with him, right? 
Unless maybe they're what caused all the bullshit on a coos. Wouldn't surprise me. They are pretty universally despised, but I mean, we've never ran into them before. They haven't really been giving it to God. It's like the first bullet I fucking fire from them is what causes the issue. That's already exploded. Why am I covered in all this blue goo? What does it mean? <laughs> Why do you even bother with the Varen? You're sending your puppies to their death. They don't deserve this. You're the assholes here. And I can't hit, I can't land a single shot. This is hell. Although I am getting a headshot through the urethra, all the way through his body, up until the brain. I love when that happens. That's my favorite thing to do in this game. My god, I gotta love piercing rounds. Send him all the way into the back of the goddamn room. This sniper is amazing, and I'm not getting sniped again though. That was fucking embarrassing. There were two left, and I got cocky. Which tends to be the case in every fucking fight we ever do. And they've overloaded my gun again. I don't think my assault rifle's even gonna work at this range, but I mean, at least we can do something. Is that Garrus? No, it's just a man lodged into the fucking wall. Oh no. Garrus can't look Batarian from a range. That's really, really sad. That's made him quite a bit less fuckable. Not jamming myself into the diarrhea, man. Don't you fucking go immunity! That was an entire clip of an assault rifle that never runs out. This difficulty is hell. I mean, I love it. It's really cool. And I feel, I feel good knowing that I can actually beat it. But Jesus, this game does not lend itself to being Dark Souls. The combat isn't good enough. It's definitely fun enough, but mostly a lower difficulty. If I was ever to play this game again, my God, I'd never even attempt insanity. Like, it's, it's not hard. You just tend to die to a lot of bullshit, and I like that this place exists, that's where Garrus belongs. I'm also not sure I play it as an adept. Like, um, down the line, um, in like Mass Effect 2 and 3, adept becomes by far my favorite class in every imaginable fucking way. It's unstoppably cool. But here, all the biotics just aren't really as interesting as, uh... The, elect the, uh, the electrical things. What the hell am I trying to say? The tech abilities. There you go. Like, Kaiden probably has the coolest ability in the game. And he's Kaiden. He doesn't have an ounce of personality. That man hasn't felt an emotion in, like, the last 40 years. He doesn't dip his hair in mayonnaise because he likes it. That's what he's programmed to do. That's what all L2s have to do. It numbs the headaches just a little bit. Or maybe that was just his sexual awakening back at boot camp or whatever the fuck. From the lovely Turian officer whose face he ripped off down the line. Ah, uh, alright, we're done. We killed a fuckload of Batarians. I don't know how we turned this shit off, but they've got a... Is that a Mako? No, it's a boring fucking mining vehicle. Why does the Mako look like civilian class of bullshit? What? No, that's pretty close. The Mako's just a little bit taller. Has slightly better genes. Alright, whatever. Let me take a sip for you. And let's see what the fuck we got. Grenade storage box. Good. I have none. Oh, it's specifically for storing grenades. And yet it only holds two. They weren't using nades. They didn't throw fucking any at me. So, what the hell was it for? Also, why don't they throw grenades, actually? I seem to remember that being quite an annoyance in the first game. That you couldn't stay in cover because either you'd get pushed by relatively smart AI or which actually seems to be stupider in this game by the way they seem much more hyper aggressive than they were in Mass Effect 1 uh, they seem more realistic back in the maybe it's because I'm on insanity mode but um the geth I guess it makes sense with them being blindly aggressive because they are just basically infinite losing one geth doesn't really mean a lot they don't really have emotional attachments to each other as far as we know Oh, you just disable it from here. I still have to frogger my way through it for fuck's sake. Kate, who the hell are you? Was that you? Can you hear me? Who the hell is you? How do you know who I am? Who are you? What's going on? My name's Kate Bowman. I'm an engineer. I was part of the team assigned to bring this asteroid to Terra Nova. You're so proud of that. I'm an we engineer. Were yesterday by Batarian extremists. I've been hiding since they arrived. I think they know the torch went out. This mission has been available to me since, like, the fucking start, because DLC. Yet you were attacked yesterday? 
What, what the fuck was my mission to come? Was I just gonna come here? We were going on a fucking date, Kate? And I don't think there's any, uh... What? Where are we going? What's the venue? Uh, to be fair, it's probably the most beautiful fucking, uh... Horizon that we've ever seen on any- Like, much better than any of the fucking Uncle Planets. But it's still just kind of a mining base. Very, very dusty. No, dust doesn't really lend itself to romance. That ain't doing it for me. Uh, what do they want? Why Unless, they like, it's... I don't a few know. crushed up but blue pills. <laughs> the entire no atmosphere is Viagra. Are going to die. If I find out anything, I'll... I've gotta go. They're mining the Viagra rocks and nothing more. That's the entire point of their organization. Incredible. Viagra's like the fifth element. Where are we going? Because I- wait, 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 did I already check the storage downstairs? Yeah, that's where we found the maids. I don't think there was anything else in that little office other than the torch control, so I think we're done here. Huh. I remember Bring Down the Sky being quite a bit low. Okay. Hey. There is- why? Oh god. I didn't mean to- are you hurt? Do you know who I am? Did you see what happened to me? Shepard was so nonchalant, that was amazing. Don't worry about me, Simon. It's more than that you one dick. shot to bring me down. Sorry, I didn't even realize you were human until, well. Can you imagine my shields hadn't I'm recharged? A soldier. If I just walked out right after I finished this fucking fight. Also, didn't you hear all the murder going on in there? What were you doing back here? Actually, were you the dude playing dead? Were you, I, I shot you in the face. Huh? He's just as fucking buff as me. Except the shield didn't catch his, my bullet. He just swallowed that fucking thing, and he's fine. Impressive. Please join my team. Please replace any of the other humans. Just be more careful. I know you're scared, but I'm here to help. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance. Simon. Simon Atwell. I'm the chief engineer on this rock. Oh, Listen, the chief. we don't have much time. The Batarians fired up the fusion torches. You've got to shut them down before we hit Terra Nova. There are four million people down there, <laughs> Just in Shepard. case you didn't realize I, what you were doing when you were just spamming family, buttons in the distance. They live in Aronis. My kids and grandkids. Nice communities. Good schools. I, I really don't care about the future of two asshole infants I'm never gonna meet. How bad is it going to be? I don't have time to do the math in my head. What happens if we don't stop this rock? X-57 is 22 kilometers long, twice the size of the asteroid that wiped out the Earth's dinosaurs. It would be like millions of fusion bombs striking at once. Millions. The heat of the blast. A thousand kilometers away, clothes will ignite. There'll be global wildfires. Air shock will flatten everything for hundreds of kilometers. Everyone get naked and everything will be fine. Not just our colony, the planet. There'll be a climate shift, mass extinctions. The ecosystem won't recover for thousands of years. Millions, maybe. But if it lands in the water, then the entire fucking planet boils, Shepard, obviously. Is there any chance it'll land in the oceans? That would be even worse. Tsunamis would sweep inland at hundreds of kilometers per hour. Millions of tons of water would be better than your son cooking alive, though, right? Global cloud coverage. The plants could all die, and if they go, the whole ecosystem rolls over. Oh no, the cabbage the numbers, gets damp. What are we gonna do? It. It'd be bad. All right, fine, fine. I believe you. Alien bastard. Rex and Garrus are right there. It's not because they're alien. I, I want to do a renegade option, but I don't just want to be a dick. Why would they do this? This doesn't make any sense. Batarians run criminal gangs. Unethical, but profitable. They don't destroy worlds. What does this gain them? I've heard all the stories. Slave rings ranching people like animals. Pirate bands burning colonies to the ground. But this is... The Citadel Conventions forbid asteroid drops. I never thought the Batarians would go this far. It also just seems... <laughs> it's like they're just doing it all for show. This is just a fucking publicity stunt for their new fucking diarrhea-themed James Bond movie. Like, what? why? <laughs> they could just send missiles. They run criminal get and they're extremely profitable. Like, the Batarians, they are... Like, they're not Citadel race. They would never want to be a Citadel, Citadel race. They're far too fucking warlike and ugly to be in such a pretty little place. I mean, the Elcor and the Volus are all out there, but the Batar Batarians are a very special case of ugh. Um... But, like, surely they have money to just buy one nuke. Now, I know it was, like, millions of fusion bombs going off at once, but, like, just get an extra cool one. Slightly fancier. Pay the extra $30. Uh, they're not all like this, but what if they are? They could be. They're Batarians. 
I don't know. I also think that maybe that advances the entire conversation. I want to know about the enemy numbers. I want to know about their leader. But I can't resist not... I can't, you know, not end up saying this. Most Batarians aren't genocidal madmen, but these ones are terrorists. Yeah, I know. It's just... This isn't how I expected the world to be when I rolled out of bed this morning. When you attacked yesterday? Did you just ignore absolutely everything until then? <laughs> and you thought, like, the locks on your doors were just gonna keep them out and they'd go away over time. Move on to the next fucking asteroid. Enemy numbers. You were on the ground when this happened. How many Batarians have you seen? And where? They landed at the main facility. It's locked down now. They've changed the passcodes. No idea what's going on inside. I did see groups head out to each of the torch stations. Couldn't say how many, though. Enough to give you a fight. I do wonder why they picked this one. What's so fucking special about it? Can they blame it on the human? Surely they're not gonna, like, no one's gonna believe that these engineers went all fucking psycho listening to too much of their elevator rock music or <laughs> the Nickelback got into their fucking heads and turned them into extremists. So, I, I guess it's because it's already like an asteroid set up to, you know, be pilotable. Which is, well, not really pilotable, I doubt it. It's turning circle is probably, I don't know, kind of painful. The handling on the asteroid isn't exactly its fucking strong suit. But, I don't know. Because I imagine if, if there's like one asteroid with these torchlights or whatever the hell, then there could be fucking thousands. I imagine this is the norm uh, for a lot of these fucking space rocks out here. Who's Any their leader? Who's behind this? Who's leading them? That might provide a clue. I heard a couple of them talking. They mentioned a Balak. It sounded like he's the one in charge. They didn't seem <laughs> convinced this was a good idea, but they were scared of the guy. Scared enough to do what he wanted. Well, now we know what the Batarians value. They've named their fucking leader after a testicle. I think that's all I need. Batarians everywhere, and I need to shut down all three torches. Anything else I should know? One of the torches is surrounded by live blasting caps. We were set up to excavate when we arrived at Terra Nova. I rigged them with proximity detectors. That tank of yours will set them off, so you'll have to go in on foot. Even then, they'll explode if you get too close. Just go slow and easy. You should be fine. You set up these fucking mines, and the Bitarians just jumped the fuck over them. This only affects me, you asshole! Well, I'm glad I didn't just start going over all the hell that I'm... Like, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't cross the entire fucking asteroid before finding this guy. Or maybe they only turn on now. Maybe they're only a problem once we fucking know about them. Oh, I'm sure I just... I'm the luckiest man in the world, right? It's not like we've already had all the technical difficulties in the world in like the first five minutes of the stream. Yeah, I'm sure everything will be fine. I'll be you able to pilot through. Can you disable them? Not from here. No. There are manual controls by the entrance to the torch facility inside the blast zone. You can disarm the caps there. One last thing. I had a crew working off-site when the attack hit. I'm worried about them. These Batarians are ruthless. I saw them smash the faceplates of guys working vacuum. And those Varen. I don't think they always wait for a corpse before feeding. Wait, 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 wait. Batarian? Oh! Oh, I see what you mean. I thought you were just saying, Oh, they're pretty buff. Look out for their cool muscles. Wish I could be like those diarrhea men. But no, I think... What he said is they punched through the fucking glass or like the visors of a dude in a vacuum and Yeah, he didn't have a whole lot of skin left after that one, huh? Gross. Okay. Don't like these guys. Let's end them all. I don't think they always wait for a corpse before feeding. Oh, okay. The Varen. I thought they were just talking about the Batarians. I don't think they think we don't look all that delicious to them, right? Because if Batarian men are willing to fuck Batarian women, then, I don't know, I think we've got some vastly different tastes here. Uh, where would your crew Any be? Any idea where I can find them? They were running checks on our perimeter <laughs> equipment. All men the decide on which women they want to fuck by how they tower taste. Out on the surface. The equipment That's stations right. will show up on your sensors. I'll do what I can. I'll look for them, but the torches have to be my priority. Yeah, you're right. Saving Terra Nova is more important than That's my That's not what I wanted to there say. There were a bunch of engineers over at the main facility, but they're probably all dead. That or being held hostage by the Batarians. One of them got a away. A woman named Kate Bowman contacted me. The Batarians haven't found her yet. Katie's alive. She's one of my best engineers. 
She signed on with her brother, Aaron. I, I think his name is. He's part oh, of the Oh, he's definitely detail. gonna be fucking dead. I hope they're okay. Can I learn more? I can learn so much fucking more. Tell me about Katie. What can you tell me about you guys Katie? in love? Smart as a whip and bold as they come. I hope she keeps hidden. If they find her. I don't okay. think whips are all that smart. Don't do anything stupid. On account of not having fucking brains. What does that mean? Why is that a fucking fr what? What is smart about a fucking length of rope? Whatever. Asteroids. <laughs> Why were you moving this thing in the first place? Well, the idea was to drag it into Terra Nova's orbit, mine it out, and in the end, you'd have a basic structure for an orbital station. It's a lot cheaper than getting everything up into orbit from the planet's surface. The minerals thrusting just a little too hard costs. now, huh? Okay, makes it. Wait, almost covered the costs. So what's the point? Or you mean the ones you've already extracted? Because if you're, well, I guess maybe it's for the good of the fucking colony and you can sell a little bit on the side to make it worth it and everything. But, I mean, he's from Terra Nova. Surely all these other fuckers are, what are their stakes in this? This seems like a horrible job that makes much less money than it's worth. Evacuate Terra Nova, is it possible? Hopefully it won't be necessary, but I am pretty terrible at my job. Could the colony be evacuated? Evac? Shepard, it took 30 years for the population to grow that large. I'm sure they're moving people to remote areas, but they'd never be able to get more than a few thousand off-world. We just don't have enough ships. No one does. Well, maybe the Quarians, but I don't see them suddenly showing up and offering us a ride. I mean, I, I don't think the Quarians actually have as many sh have as many ships as you think. I know they live exclusively on them, but they're one of the most, like, dwindling races in the fucking galaxy. I love them. They're my fucking favorite because Tali and her tits, but, like... There aren't many. I'm sure I'm sure humanity, which have only really just been ascended, have more ships than they do. But anyway, whips sting when they hit you. In other words, they smart. Yeah, but that's not that doesn't make it intelligent. He's saying Katie's intelligent or is he telling me that Katie stings when she fucking hits me? She has a very potent venom. Ah, uh, stay out of sight. You better find a good place to hide. If the Batarians come back and find you. I'll yeah, do more than smash your faceplate. myself scarce. Good luck, Shepard. They're coming straight for that backplate, Simon. I got two whole Paragon points that I can't even use now. I think maybe we only- we probably would have got more than two there, because I hit a lot of good boy options in that one. Thing is, I think maybe that was the last two I'll ever need. We are a maxed out professional good boy. It's happened, so I have free reign to be a dick to anyone who I fucking please. But unfortunately, for the last forever, we've only really been meeting people that I like. And the ones that I don't like aren't, like, important enough to the game, um... To warrant, like, actual impactful, this gives you renegade points kind of conversations. That's the radio, that's the transmission tower, that's a fusion torch. Uh, let's see what the hell we got. Fuck me, I forgot how beautiful that is. It really reminds you what we're fighting to save. Damn. Sorry. There's a lot of feedback. Maybe screeching yeah, isn't the best it. idea right now, Katie. Oh, okay, so I assume these lights mean that's a fucking minefield. But f our little footies aren't gonna set them off, right? Good thing I didn't bring Rex. No, I did bring Rex! Did I bring Rex? Who have we got? I think it's Garrus and Rex, and Garrus is doing all my techie. Rex has particularly large footies. I don't know if this is such a great idea, and I'm not fighting that shit without my fucking Mako. Which means we're gonna have to do it from a range, which will be agonizing. It's hard enough to do from like right in fucking front of it. In fact, right in fucking front of it probably makes shit harder. Can we be at a decent last mid range for once, please? Can I actually think about what the hell I'm doing? No? Brain, please? There you go, I'm actually getting a fucking uh, health bar now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and take them all out. Ah, oh, should I just try and get lucky? What if I can just shoot at the mines? Can I blow them up before they even, uh, become a problem? Doesn't really seem to be doing anything. I was convinced that, uh, I think the last time I did this, I would just really carefully pilot- pilot the... Mako in, but it's not necessary anymore, because back in the old days in Mass Effect 1, um... Pre-modernization, uh, I think I've said this before, the Mako could only shoot in the directions that its turret was clearly capable of. So, you sort of had to line up the Mako when you wanted to end something, which was a fucking nightmare. So I think 
Last time, my choices were either get in real close, do it on foot, or get, it on, get in real close and brave the minefield, do it on foot, or like get up as high as I can on that fucking mountain and hope for the best. Let's see just how horrific of an idea this would be. <laughs> what? I have memories of being able to do that! <laughs> oh, and we like tiptoed our way on! As much as you can tiptoe in a giant fucking, you know, 80 ton tank. Ugh, that's so much effort, I actually have to walk now! I gotta use my legs! What? Rex, I knew it would be your fault! It's those thick fucking unstoppable calves! <laughs> 